Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. And as you can see, we have our two amazing guests back with us for more today. To my left, we have Indra Dudna. Indra, it's amazing how you have just, I don't know what's a past tense for hang. Remember, I'm not a native English speaker, so you've just hung in there. <laughs> And you've come back. So thank you so much for coming back. It's a pleasure to have you it's back. It's a pleasure to be here. Yesterday was much more intense than two days quite ago. In, so tell me intense. how you felt. Were you totally charged? Uh, yeah, I learned so much from you. And, and, and you know, in, in addition to the acting, I also have an office job. And I'm, also, I'm always quite tense right here. Right. And I want to learn how to relax that. There's all that, that lactic acid this, built up right so many, there. So many little things that you learn and it's, right. it's even though even though it's it's working out, it's, it's it relaxes you at the same time. That's right. And you're actually channeling your thoughts to focus on those little tips every now right, and then that right. you get as you stretch. And you most of the times you discover it for yourself too. Right. All I'm doing is just point you in the right direction, yes. right? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So you have an office job plus you have acting. you're taking acting yes. classes? Yes. Wow, that is a double, <laughs> truly a double role right yes, there. And now I'm here. <laughs> that, absolutely. And yes, you can consider this your third role. So we're yes. expecting you to come here every time. No, but uh, seriously, it's really great to have you back because Thank it just you. says a lot for the program, too, mm -hmm. that you're enjoying it and I'm I enjoying hope you're getting it. something I'm out of it. I'm loving it. Totally. I think we're all, all our batteries are so fully charged. We're ready to go bar hopping. So, <laughs> and thank you so much. And Chin to my right, and thank you so much for coming back. I know you're a runner, you run a lot, and you have an office job as well. Yes, right? yes, I have a very busy office job, and uh, in order to release that stress, from the job, I always <laughs> right. running, spend a lot of time in the treadmill. But uh, you know, after a lot of running, I feel like I get so much pain and the muscle pain. Tense. Right. Yeah, very right. Tense. All that tension. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I found the yoga helped me. Yeah, get that kind it's of uh, release. Really? You do feel a wonderful sense of release, right? You run, and I'm sure for folks like you who run a lot, mm. probably the greatest joy is running. But also, you, if you want to keep running and stay strong, you want to balance it with some stretches too. Even for folks who work out at the gym, every time you strengthen your muscles at the gym, you are doing a few stretches to counter that. In fact, if you go to our website, www.yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com, there is actually a tab over there on the website. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it, but I know you work out at the gym, so <laughs> I want to point this out to you too, Indra. There's a tab over there that says gym moves. Check that out. There are some basic gym moves, and we've suggested some simple yoga stretches to help you after you go into those gym moves. So let's say you're working your triceps. So you're strengthening your triceps, so you have to keep opening up your arms. So you might have some kind of weights, right? The right. tricep stretch, yes. the lat pull. Mm -hmm. So every time you strength, you strengthen your triceps, you also want to do some tricep stretches. So maybe... I'm sure all of you know you're working out at the gym, so you probably know how to get into those stretches. We're just helping point you in the right direction. And that's another thing I want to remind our viewers out there. We always tell you, if you are already working out at the gym, don't give that up for yoga. If you're already running, don't give it up. Stay with whatever you're doing. You're seeing your chiropractor, you're seeing a very handsome doctor, please stay with them. Don't give up on them. Just add us to your everyday routine. That's all we ask. Let us be the link in your fitness routine. Having said that, I want again to remind our viewers, Yoga Express is taped in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. We air five days a week, Monday through Friday, 1.30 Eastern Time. That's 1.30 New York Time. And we have a lot of support for you. We have a postcard 
a fridge magnet. You know what to do with these. Take this on your fridge, keep this in your briefcase, take it with you wherever you go. It's not very heavy. And you have a little book, my third title, called Yoga Secrets, has 10 ailment-specific cards inside. So if you're feeling, okay, so today you say, all right, today my knees are hurting. I want to exercise my knees. We have a card dedicated to stretches that will help prevent arthritis, maybe delay arthritis, but mainly to give you a wonderful knee workout. So it's arthritis of the knees. We're focusing on the biggest joint in the body. Yes, but the concept is very similar. So arthritis of the knees would involve bending and unbending of the knees. You don't have to do yoga. You can go to the subway station, climb up the escalators. I like to climb the escalators instead of climbing the stairs simply because when you go up the escalator, you have motion and you have movement. So it's not like I'm just climbing the stairs and tiring myself. When I want, I can rest and I'm still making some progress. Yeah. So the escalator is still I think once up. you learn the routine, you, you can incorporate it in your daily life. Exactly. exactly. Different things. And that's where the stress mm -hmm. release comes from, Indra, because yeah. if you have a sequence with you, you know what's coming next. Right. You already half your tension is gone. Exactly. You know what's expected. So great point. Now go to my website, check out my website and my blog. Come back and stretch with us. When you come and stretch with us, you get all sorts of free goodies. You have the book, the postcard. You also get a sun salutation poster, the sequence that we went through yesterday. And we'll be doing twists today? Yes. Twists, good for you? Good for me. Happy? Okay. I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> twists, abdominal twists would feel amazing, especially if you go through a number of them and hold the twists. So you want to hold your positions. Some of these twists may be partial twists. So we're going to first stand up. I'm going to go through some standing twists first. Before I do that, let me not forget to acknowledge our amazing crew. Once again, we have a full house today. I am delighted to present on camera Alan Prendergast, Paul Johnson, Tiffany Winter, Sasha Hori, Beverly Dixon, Winston Gilchrist, and Joshua Garcia. And in the control room, we have Josian Hurd, Sharon Quinn, Florence Choice, and Fauzia Najjar. Again, I hope we haven't missed anyone. I know we had the same amazing crew yesterday as well. So thank you so much for making this happen. And thanks to you, Rich, for these amazing, uh, this amazing setup, the gobos, the lights, studio sounds. Talking of sound, could we have a little music, please, in the background? Just put it up a little bit. And also thanks to Drew Taylor and Roberto Espinel for basically supervising and making sure everything goes well today. So. As we get into our th uh, twists today, our thoughts are with all of you. Thanks for making this happen. Heels are together, toes slightly apart. That's always our standing position. Today we're gonna start a twist with a little bit of standing meditation. Place your palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Don't think of this as a religious gesture. Just think of this as a little bit of exercise, a little bit of pressure on the wrist. That's great, especially if you're working. Do you work on the computer a lot? Yes. How about you, Anne? Yeah, I also I work feel all a stretch day. in my back. You feel that, right? Yes. So when you take, when you press, especially when you're pressing your palms together, you're pushing, your elbows are coming up and your shoulders are going back, automatically your chest is opening up. So you get a beautiful pectoral stretch. Just, uh, the pectoral muscles are the big muscles in front of your chest. That's opening up. You're enhancing lung power, so you're opening up your airways. And you're also stretching the intercostal muscles between the rib cage. You have muscles or cartilaginous muscle that goes up and down. Plus, your diaphragm opens up. So you're getting a beautiful upper body workout. Now, to get into the twist, before we get into the twist, close your eyes for just a few seconds. I want you to experience something really unique, something you may not have thought of. Close your eyes and feel your body as it swaying to the right or to the left. A lot of what we do right here on the mat in the studio or at home if you're stretching with us has to do with the way our inner mind stays balanced. If you feel yourself swaying to the right, you're leaning to the right, make a note of it mentally and when you finish your practice, go home and check your footwear. The impress on your right foot will be deeper. So that means you're putting a lot more pressure on the right side of your body which means you're activating the left side of the brain. And then what happens? Don't you want to activate the right side as well of the brain? So you want to put pressure on the left. So you want to make sure that your whole body is totally balanced. You want to make sure that both your footwear, the soles or inner, uh, the 
top of both your footwear have a similar impress so you don't want that imbalance in your body now let's open our eyes let's all turn let's do this let's all turn to the left the first twist we're going to go into is called trikon asan let's bring our legs out about three feet apart now indra you're fairly tall so you want to bring your anyone who's taller than i am is tall for me so you are tall anyway so bring your feet out put your brakes on when we say put your brakes on bring your toes in every time your legs are wide apart you want to make sure you're safe <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're going to go into that you want to make sure you're safe you don't want to slip be mindful of your body be respectful of your body put your brakes on once you're nice and firm bring your hands by your side turn your right foot out and at this point you're not going to face to the your face is not going to come to the right side yet we're going to face the front of our body but just the right foot is out the heel of the right foot is at a T with the inner sole of the left foot. So you want to make a nice little T with both your feet. Now inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep your palms where they are. Very gracefully turn your face to look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand. Now we're going to keep exhaling and just lean forward. Before you dip your hand all the way, just lean forward a little bit to the right. Not yet, you're ahead of yourself. That's the next one. Lean forward a little bit to your right, and then keep exhaling. Dip your right hand in front of your right knee. Keep your knee straight for this posture. We're going to get into the bent knee later. Both palms are facing forward. Left arm goes all the way up. Now, as when your left arm goes up, your left shoulder comes to uh, goes back a little more. So that helps you open up the left side of your chest. You also should feel a beautiful stretch in your obliques on the whole right side, left side of the body and a wonderful compression on the right side of your body. Plus you will feel the stretch and you feel the stretch yes. in the back of your legs, especially yes. the right leg, you yes. feel it too, right? The right leg. <laughs> yeah, to you. <laughs> and feels great. Now hold that, trikon asan, trikon is Three is three, cone is corners, three cone is literally three corners or triangle. Let's inhale, bring our arms up to shoulder height. Bring our arms up, keep your palms facing down. Let's transition into the next two postures which are very close to three cone. Exhale and bend your right knee. <sighs> Not yet. <laughs> now this is, these are all transitional postures. This posture is called Veer Bhadra or Brave Warrior. Look to the right, so look at the tip of your fingers on the right hand. Now we go into Veera Bhadra Kona, warrior angle. We're going to exhale, dip the right hand in front of the right ankle, left arm goes up. Inhale, I'm sorry, exhale and dip. And inhale, take your left arm all the way up, both palms facing forward. You want to look up to look, uh, uh, raise your head, raise your face, turn your face to look up at the raised arm. Hold it. Let's inhale, come up. Once your arms are at shoulder height, straighten your right knee, turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. <coughs> you want to make sure this posture does involve a little bit of balance. So if your mind sways, even for a second, you might find your body swaying. So your mind dictates what your body does. So hold it. This is also a great test of your tricep strength. It's making your tricep much stronger. Now turn your left foot out. Make sure that the heel of your left foot is at a T with the inside of your right foot. Lean a little bit to the left. Keep your knees straight. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. Both palms face forward. Look up at your raised arm. <coughs> When you have both your palms facing forward, think of yourself as gathering energy from around you. Hold it. Inhale, bring your arms back to shoulder height, palms are facing down. Now, you want to exhale, bend your left knee. <coughs> if you can bend really deep, if you think the pressure is not going to affect your knee, you want to keep bending, keep exhaling and dip. You can try and make a nice L with the base, with the bottom part of your left thigh and the floor. So you should be able to make a nice little L. <coughs> Exhale, dip your left hand in front of your left ankle. Right arm goes all the way up. 
Now, what we are going to do is try to challenge ourselves just a little more on this side. Take your arm all the way overhead. I know we did not try this little bit of adaptation on the other side. That's okay. When we stand up, we'll try and stretch the other side, Indra. I promise you. <laughs> Feel that beautiful stretch on the whole right side of the body. Let's inhale. Come up. Arms at shoulder height. Unbend your left knee. Turn your left foot in. Exhale and release. Did I hear a sigh <laughs> when he came up? Felt good, right? Yes. But it's like, ah. <sighs> I hope it was a happy sigh. <laughs> Wiggle your feet a little closer together. Happy sigh. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Let's turn to face the cameras. Now, <laughs> we're going to go through two postures, one after the other, in a kind of slightly undulating motion. So the whole body is going to sway to the right and to the left. And if you're checking your postcards, it would be posture number, let me see, number nine and 10. You're going to wonder, we promised you abdominal twist. You're going to wonder where the twists are. In Trikon, when we turned around, we already got a twist. When you dipped for, to the floor, all the dipped our arm all the way to the floor, you're getting a bit of a twist. You're getting a stretch on one side as well. So you're getting both a workout on both sides. You want to stretch the other side and get your little extra adaptation. In the past, <laughs> you know, you remind me of a classroom situation where the teacher forgot to stretch on the other side. <laughs> she forgot to tell us to stretch, and I couldn't focus on the rest of the class. So thank you for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> We're going to go through a posture called Ardha Chandra. Ardha is half, Chandra is moon. And when we sway to the right and to the left in this posture, we're trying to emulate, we're trying to look like a crescent moon. So this time, I'm going to stagger myself. If you want to come forward just a little bit. Heels together, toes slightly apart, palms in front of your chest. Remember, bring your elbows up. It helps you stay in the moment. You could try. Bring your elbows down, flop your elbows down, and see how your mind starts wandering. Close your eyes and see. You'll have about five thoughts bombarding each other inside. So bring your elbows up. Inhale, take your arms overhead. Now, once you're up there, remember, wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, bring your arms in front of your chest with the palms facing down. Very nice. I notice all three of us came out all the way. We have another participant who's actually crewing for us today, Josiane. Like I mentioned yesterday, she likes to bring her arms down the center, which is fine too. When you bring your arms down the center, it helps you meditate. It gets you into a meditative state faster. When you bring your arms out, it's more physical. We're getting a physical workout. When you bring your arms down, you might get a bit more of a spiritual elevation. So now we're going to go into a, an O. Oh, I have to come back to this one. Palms are facing down, elbows are raised. <clears throat> Bring your feet out about six to eight inches apart. And you want to keep the insides of your feet parallel to each other. You want to make sure that you're nice and secure. So you want more distance between your feet. If you're not feel, if you're feeling very tired today, you can bring your feet further out. I usually like to keep it at hip distance because then I feel nice and centered. If you're feeling very strong, keep your feet really close together. I don't want to take chances, so I'm going to go at hip width. We're going to exhale, swing our right arm out, inhale, bring the right arm back in, then exhale, swing the left arm out. The first time we do that, we're going to keep our hips where they are. Second round, when we swing our arm out, it's for two reasons. One, to redeem ourselves in case we make a mistake the first time, but mostly it's also to see the difference, to feel the difference when we take our hips with us and see how much deeper you go into that twist. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Very nice controlled motion. You want to make sure that your mind is totally focused on what you're doing right now. That's how you develop concentration. That's how you rise to the meditative levels. This time, take your hips with you. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. 
exhale and release. If I haven't mentioned it before in previous episodes, I need to point it out now. When you take your hips with you, sometimes the tendency, the temptation is to take your feet with you as well. You wanna make sure your feet stay where they are. It doesn't matter if your hips don't go all the way, but your feet must stay there, otherwise you're not getting your stretch. If you're gonna take your heels with you, all you're doing is turning around. You're not giving yourself that twist. So keep your feet where they are, and then you'll feel a deeper twist. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We did great. Five twists, we've got about 12, so I think we're doing well for time. We will take you through a posture called Parswa Kona Namaskara, prayer twist. Parswa Kona is intense twist, and prayer, when you put your hands together, is Namaskara or prayer twist. Great, six minutes. All right, this time we're gonna reduce our holding times because we have six minutes, we wanna work through seven postures. Bring your feet up apart, bring your right foot forward, left foot is behind, both feet face forward. Now, if you're fairly tall, you want to bring it further, and you're also a runner, so you can handle a little more distance between <laughs> your feet. Keep exhaling and bend both your knees. Place your left knee on the floor. Very nice, I like that posture too. Good, and you have a beautiful stretch. Uncurl your toes in the left foot, ease off just a little bit. Now for your twist, we like to call this the Yoga Express twist. Left knee, right knee is up, left arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of your left, Parswa Kona Namaskara. Intense prayer twist. And turn to look up at the raised elbow. Now, when you're turning, if you want to give yourself a little more, a bit more of a challenge, wiggle your right foot if you can, if you're not putting too much pressure on your right knee, and dip your hip. Inhale, let's ease off, and let's switch legs as gracefully as we can. Place your right, both your hands beside your right foot, curl your toes in in the left foot. Take the right foot back, and then bring the left foot forward. Now, you could be on your knees, or you can come in plank. Whichever you're comfortable with, that's fine. Now bring your left foot forward, uncurl your toes in the right foot. We're gonna twist on the other side, otherwise I have my monitor right here. She's gonna give me a little slap on the wrist. You forgot the other side, go. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Place your left palm on top of your right. Parsva Kona Namaskara, intense prayer twist. Raise your left elbow, look up at your raised elbow. This does involve a little bit of balance, stay focused. And if you come out of a posture, get right back in. Inhale, let's come out of that. And let's come in seated position. So we're gonna take our foot back, left foot back. We're gonna sit down now. <clears throat> take you through a wonderful twist called Ardha Matsendra. Ardha is half, Matsya is fish, Matsendra is lord of the fishes. So the whole posture is called half, it's translated to half lord of the fishes. Mm -hmm. But I think in North America they call it half spinal twist. It doesn't matter, we don't care. We don't care what it, oh we do care what it's called. We don't mind what it's called, we just want to feel the twist. Take your, tuck your left heel under your right buttock. Take your right foot over your left knee. Make sure your right foot is flat. We have about four minutes left, so we'll probably be able to steal about three, I think we should be able to do it. We're gonna skip the one after this. Push your right knee in, talk your upper body to the right. So you're already quarter way there. This is a half twist, so now you have the other quarter to go through. Place your right hand on your right knee, inhale the left arm up, exhale, dip the left elbow over the right knee, and push your right knee in. Try to hold on, I'm gonna help myself a little bit. Hold on to your left knee. Take your right hand behind you. Now if you feel this is a little bit intense, you might want to wiggle your right foot forward. That makes it a little easier to twist. Gives you a little more room to twist your upper body. Look back. And remember to breathe. Yoga teachers are like dentists sometimes. You know, you put all that equipment in their mouth and then ask you all these exciting questions that you're dying to answer and you can't talk. So you're in a twist. <laughs> and we want, need to breathe. Inhale, release your left hand, untangle your right foot. Let's switch to the other side. Otherwise this time, Anne is gonna give me a slap on the wrist on this side. 
So I have two really committed people who will remind me if I forget the other side. So I'm gonna make sure I stay on track. Cross your left foot over your right knee. Make sure your left foot is nice and flat. <clears throat> Push your left knee in. Talk your upper body to the left. Now hold on to your left knee with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee. Hold on to your right knee. You might notice that this side of my body anyway cooperates just a little more. We all have our imbalances and I think it's good to acknowledge that. I know this side feels a little easier than the other side. <clears throat> Turn to look back and hold. Inhale, release the right hand and then extend the left leg out in front of you. Janu Sirsha, head to knee. We're gonna to attempt to bring our forehead to our knee. And as I pointed out in several episodes before, it may happen for Anne, it may happen for Indra, for me, for the next 100 years, I'm not gonna to aspire to that, but, but I'm gonna try. The idea is to feel a beautiful stretch in the back of my leg and also feel a little bit of a twist. So left leg is extended, left foot is flexed. Inhale, right foot, right leg is bent at the knee. Attach the sole of your right foot to the inside of your upper left thigh. Inhale your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way up, palms facing in. Exhale and fold. When you hold on to your big toe, remember, the nerves that end in the big toe lead to the eyes. So you're putting pressure on your big toe, that means you're energizing your eyes, the muscles around your eyes. Inhale, let's come up, one minute, okay. Now let's extend the other leg out, exhale. Fold the left leg at the knee, attach the sole of the left foot to the inside of your upper right thigh. Inhale, Janu is knee, Sirsha is head, head to knee. Take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale and fold. The other reason for flexing your foot, at least for me, it makes, it feel, makes me feel like I'm able to reach my foot easier because it's a little closer to me. But of course, I also get this beautiful stretch in the back. And once I get hold of my big toe, I'm able to pull my body forward. So one of these days, I'm gonna get my forehead to the knee. Let's inhale and come up. We have about 30 seconds left, so I don't want to forget, I want to acknowledge our amazing crew. We have